Hi, Riley here from Real Perfect. Guys, you are new to iPhone or even you are not new to iPhone, this video can be for you. The settings you must know to change at the beginning when you start using a phone. So let's jump into it right now. So the number one tip you need to know when you're starting to use an iPhone is going on setting and now you scroll down to display and brightness. Once you scroll down this one brightness, you make sure the auto lock 30 seconds, not more than that. If you have no use, when you're not using the iPhone, you don't want it to be on more than 30 seconds in one minute because the battery display are uh, draining the battery. So when it's five minutes, it will just be on even though when you're not using the phone until you shut off the, the, the screen. So you make sure it's on 30 seconds auto lock and then you save a lot of battery from the display when it's on. So it's gonna be off after 30 seconds. The next thing I wanna teach you is going to bold text. You make sure the bold text is on. Why? Because when it's thin, it's thin and light. And daylight sometimes it's very hard to see the text. So I recommend putting it on, but you choose whatever fits you. Next thing I want to teach you on this video is uh, how to uh, control the auto display, which means the brightness of auto display. Over here, you don't have a control on it. The way you control the auto display, the display should not be on and uh, low and high automatically because it's draining the battery. What you do is you are going to accessibility, accessibility. And you go here and then you just uh, press on display and text size and now you go all the way down and you make sure the auto brightness is off not on just turn it off and then you control how much brightness you want on your phone depending on the environment and the place you are in okay that will save you a lot of battery the next tip I want to teach you is also about battery uh, saving battery life is going to sounds and haptics and then you see we vibrate and ring it's off do not turn it on if you have no reason that you need also vibration when it's ringing because the vibration and each call if you have a lot of calls during the day it's killing a lot of the battery it's taking a lot of uh, energy from the battery so turn it off and it's gonna ring just without vibration so that's another tip. The next tip I, mean, I want to share with you is on Face ID. So important tips. You must stay tuned for this. Okay, let's just share with you this uh, tips. Okay, first you want to make sure all of them is on. I think on default only iPhone unlock it's on. So you also make uh, the fourth one, the, the, I mean, the all four of them, iTunes and App Store, that you can make a purchases with the Face ID, Apple Pay and Password out of field. You make sure it's on, you're gonna have much easier time using the iPhone and instead of putting in each of uh, those options, the passcode, okay? Now, if you scroll down, require attention on Face ID, this is very important, guys. If it's off when you're sleeping or you're not looking, uh, someone from a from family or friends can just put your phone on, uh, um, towards your face and it will unlock. Unless this feature is on and now we require attention for Face ID, it will, it, the phone will make sure you're looking at it. So this is very important. Also, attention aware features, also put it on. That will make sure the phone is looking at you, that you're using it and it will not uh, auto lock on you, okay? Another very important thing still here on face and passcode is going scrolling down. Right now all of them it's off, but I think on default all of them are on. What it means is when you turn off the phone, when you turn on the phone, when the lock screen is, is, is when the screen is locked, people can still access all your settings of the phone to lock this area when it's locked when the phone is locked what you do is go into setting you go into face id and then you scroll down to the bottom let me show you you scroll down to the bottom and you turn all of those off when it's off when you when you lock the screen nobody can access all of these options on your phone this will be disappearing nothing will come out 
So that's a very important tip for you guys. The most important setting you, you need to know on your phone when you start using a phone, the iPhone is going on setting and you have screen time. And screen time you can control any apps on your phone. If you pass the phone to your friend or family, you can control the app store, you can control uh, the camera, Safari, and whatever you have on the phone. How you do that, where you see right now the word in blue, change screen time, you can, uh, at the beginning it will say to you, use a screen time passcode. So you just create a passcode and then you go on to content and privacy restrictions. And now you turn it off, it will be off at the beginning. It will be like that, you turn it on and now you can just uh, go into iTunes and, apps and app purchases and you have few options, you can, uh, uh, control you allowed or don't allow to install apps from your app store same thing deleting apps allowed or don't allow deleting apps and to see the history of your app purchases you can allow or don't allow another thing you need to know is the next under iTunes and apps or purchases you have allowed apps over here you can control Safari FaceTime camera etc you can control the iTunes store whatever you the health uh, if you you know this is a, uh, uh, information not everyone need to know so you can control whatever you want and will disappear from the home screen you see the camera that just disappeared everything disappeared let's let's get it back on uh, allowed apps one 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 and now just get everything back on everything I do want okay thank you for watching up to this point don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos thank you bye